Hi, welcome to Godly Play. This is Miss Helen. It's been a long time since I got to see any of you, so I hope everybody's doing well. Today's story is a story you probably know. It's the story of Noah's Ark. In the very beginning, God made the world and gave us so many good things. He gave us light and darkness, the moon and the stars and the sun and all the animals and all the people and plants and everything. And he saw that it was good. But as time went by, people started to do wicked things and God was very, very sad. But there was one good family. There was Noah and his wife and his three sons and their wives. And God said to Noah, I want you to build an ark, a great big ship. And into the ship, I want you to take two of every kind of animal because I'm going to send rain for 40 days and 40 nights. And Noah built a great ship. into the ship came all the families, his sons and his daughters-in-law. We're going to put them inside the little house for now. And then all the animals came. One by one, two by two, so many animals. And they all came to the ark. And they all knocked over poor Noah. Probably was very hard taking care of that many animals. I have trouble taking care of one dog. And then started to rain and it rained and it rained and it rained and it rained and it started to flood there was so much rain and the rain lit the flood water lifted the ark up 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 so high and finally the rain stopped after 40 days and they sailed for a while Gradually, the flood water started to come down. And finally, the ark landed on top of a mountain. And Noah wondered, and Noah wondered if there was any dry land. So, he took a dove, one of the two doves on the ship, and he sent the dove out. And the dove went away, but that night, the dove came back, nothing. So the next day, Noah sent the dove out, and the dove flew far, far away, and came back with a piece of an olive branch in its beak. And no one knew that there must be dry land or he couldn't have gotten the olive branch. So the next night, Noah sent the dove out and it didn't come back. It had found a new home. So Noah and all of his family got off of the ark and they were so happy that their ordeal was over and that God had made them a whole brand new world clean and fresh. And all 
all of the animals came out of the ark, two by two, just like God had told him. And Noah and his family were so happy to be back on dry land that they built an altar to God and gave thanks to him. And God then put a rainbow into the sky to promise that he would never do that again. And we can still see the rainbow sometimes. You might want to look outside after there's been a nice rain, especially if it's very sunny outside. And you might be able to find a rainbow. Sometimes I've found double rainbows, and that's very special. So this story makes me wonder about a lot of things. I wonder what Noah first thought to himself when God told him what he wanted to do, because that would be pretty hard, I would think. And I wonder what it would be like to have it rain for 40 days and 40 nights. I have a hard time knowing what to do if it rains for an afternoon. And I wonder what it would be like to be able to start over again, have everything cleaned and, and all the bad things put away and just be able to start with a clean slate. Maybe those are some things that you could wonder about this week and maybe talk with your parents and your friends about. All right, well, goodbye from the Godly Play Classroom, and hopefully we will see you someday soon. Bye-bye. Thank you, Miss Helen, for telling us the story of Noah's Ark. That's an all-time favorite story from the part of the Bible that we call the Old Testament. The story of Noah's Ark makes me think of lots of things. There are the animals for sure, and I'm pretty sure we all really like animals. There's the rain. That's a big part of the story. The rain and the flood. There's the boat, the ark. Some of us like boats. And there's the rainbow. So this is the time in Godly Play that we usually pick some materials to work with and do whatever we are inspired to do um, on that, that particular Sunday. It might be building with Legos, it might be working a puzzle or reading a book, it might be something sort of artistic, like making something out of clay or Play-Doh. It might be drawing a picture um, or writing a story. So Noah's Ark and the animals and the rain and the boat and the rainbow give me some ideas too. Um, Remember when we made piggy banks? Looked cut not like this, but a little bit like this. We made it out of an empty water bottle. That's something you could do that reminds you of the animals in Noah's Ark. You might make a boat out of um, paper or wood or foil or an egg garden or something like that. I know you guys have um, are very ingenious. That means you can think up good ideas with whatever you have at hand. Um, one idea that we talked about last week was to make a rain stick. The rain in the Noah's Ark story makes me think of the rain stick. I think maybe um, in the coming weeks we'll try that. My son David made a rain stick in school one time. It was, it was really tall, almost as tall as I am. And it was just a stick, maybe about this big around. And um, he decorated it on the outside, but it was hollow on the inside. And there was something inside that when you turn the stick up and down, up and down, sounded like rain. That's why it was called a rain stick. So let's think about what you would put inside the stick that would make a sound 
that sounds like rain when you move it. And then, of course, there's the rainbow. Lots of crafts we could do with rainbows and all the beautiful colors um, that, that you see in a rainbow. Here's a little craft that we have in our godly playroom with a rainbow shape in paper that we could decorate with crayons or colored pencils or paints or stickers. Um, I had one that I had colored and I thought I brought it home with me, but I haven't been able to find it. So I'm going to look next week in the Godly Playroom and see if I left it there. And I actually, I think that there's one of these rainbows hanging in the window in our Godly Playroom. So next time you're you're at church and you're on your way to Godly Play, look up in the window and see if you see it there. I like to look at rainbows. I think Miss Helen told us that when it rains and then it gets sunny, that's the best time to look for a rainbow. And I'll tell you what, sometimes it's dark on one side of my house and it's sunny on the other side of my house and that's when I run outside to look for a rainbow. And I've seen some beauties from here on my balcony and before I go, I'm going to share a picture of one with you. Hope you think it's as pretty as, as I did, and I hope you see some beautiful rainbows, too. And when you see a rainbow, think of the Noah story, and remember that the rainbow was the sign of God's promise. We'll see you soon in Godly Play, online or in person. We can have a good time either way. See you soon. Bye-bye.